What's up, Tech Nuts? Lottie here again. Um, we've been really busy again. I know every time I miss out on a few videos, I come back and say the exact same thing, but we have been busy again. <laughs> so this is a 1942-43, not entirely sure just yet, Ooh, falling over. <laughs> um, artillery tractor, Blitz artillery tractor. Uh, that we will be doing a restoration job on. So I'm gonna walk around, give you a bit of the history, what we're gonna do to it, um, and why we're doing it. So yeah, let's get into it. Here is our, of course the sun decides to come out right now. I'll step back a little bit so you can see it in all its glory. So this is um, yeah, our artillery tractor. Now, as we are in Australia, there's a couple of things that you need to know about these. So for those who don't know, um, the trailer that we did, which I'll make appear right here, goes on the back of this. And then there's a 25 pounder that goes behind that. This is what pulls it. This is known as an artillery tractor. Now in Australia, there are only three official ones. One of them is in a museum and the other two are owned by private collectors. This is not one of them. So what this is, is a normal blitz truck and the backs of them, because the Australian military at the time thought that they were going to make their own, the backs were imported into Australia. And I believe in Western Australia, don't know the full story about it, um, but this is coming from the owner of this particular one. He said that um, some collectors, they got a bunch of Blitz trucks and they slapped a back on them and did them up, you know, all sort of rigid ditch to look like authentic artillery tractors. Now, the reason he wants this one done up is because his 25 pounder is from uh, the Rats of Tobruk. The 25 pounder to go on the back of it. So this one is gonna be done up to look like one of the Rats of the Brooks artillery tractors. So there's a few things that we need to do. First things first, it does actually run and drive. It drove in here. It looks painfully dirty at the moment, um, but it's, it's gonna get a full overhaul. It's gonna look really groovy when it's all done. Um, we will not be doing too much of the mechanical we're obviously just going to do some checks on it but this is purely a cosmetic job um, that we've been hired to do we've got a lot of work to do um, doing full mechanical at this point as it is only in parades it's just not cost effective uh, for the owner at this time but that might be something we look at in, in the future. And besides, it does actually start up very well. The only thing we will be doing is a new starter motor because that's taking forever. And of course, we're gonna do, um, we're gonna check the uh, fuel tank, make sure it's all cleaned out and we'll do that one properly. But yeah, we're basically gonna clean it all up. We're also gonna get rid of all this sort of stuff that it doesn't need. So for, um, the rules here in Queensland have changed. We no longer need indicators and all that sort of nonsense if it was not made with them. That's the new rules. So to keep this as original as possible, we will be stripping all that sort of nonsense off as this will only be used in parades and it can be registered for that. So really good for us. Now. Let's start on the roof, actually. So the roof, we're gonna put new seals on the hatches. So they're all working nice, but the roof is quite nice. We're gonna have to clean up a few of these little rusty sections, um, which we'll just use a little sandblaster on and then paint it all up. Same goes for on the inside. It's actually not that bad. We're gonna get the seats reupholstered. We have the engine cowling that's in the back. I'll show you that one later. Um, and as I mentioned before, we're just going to get rid of all of this sort of nonsense wiring that we no longer need due to the new rules. And we're going to pressure wash the whole lot out. Uh, there is a canvas door here. The problem is, being done up as a um, Tobruk vehicle, the green doesn't work. 
So we're gonna have to get the both doors reupholstered into a sandy colored and we're gonna have to do this all in sand as well. So it's not gonna be green anymore when we're done with it. Uh, moving forward, we're gonna have to do all these seals again. Uh, so it's nice and semi watertight. Again, it's just a parade vehicle, but it does rain <laughs> more often than not during our Anzac Day parades. Uh, so yeah, definitely something we need to do. Um, we've got a spare cover coming so we've been told and we need to make sure that all of this indicators have been taken off so only um, vehicles that really didn't do much um, they get painted these corners on because apparently Australians keep running into stuff but that's a dead giveaway that it's not really a interesting vehicle so we're going to get rid of that we're going to get rid of the um, markers as well because they didn't have these so we're going to unbolt that one clean it all up clean up the front end uh, the owner has also said he's got the original badge to go on it we'll let him find that one uh, yeah pretty good we'll take the wheels off give them a good paint up we're going to paint all of the inside we're going to have to clean up some of the side uh, the running boards on the side here. This side's pretty good, but we'll clean it up, oil it, make it really nice. And we're just gonna cut off these little bits here. Um, the ladder, so I'm told, this ladder here is actually for removal of the spare wheel, which is in the back here. We've been told not to take it out, but we're probably going to anyway. Um, apparently it's a really big pain in the butt. I guess we'll work that one out, but to properly paint the inside, we're going to have to. There's the engine cowling, and here's all of the boxes and stuff. All of this is for a separate vehicle, which we will not be doing. He forgot it was in here, so we're going to have to take that off. We are going to properly clean all of this wood, and we're going to leave it bare wood finish. Um, obviously with coat coating and all that, but we're not going to paint it. Uh, we think it'll look better. Um, coming back again, we're gonna get rid of all of this nonsense. Um, we'll have to get rid of this one, which is probably gonna be the most difficult. It looks like it's just sort of tacked on there. But yeah, we'll get it off because it, again, isn't uh, original to the uh, Tobruk style. We'll find new markings for it, paint that up. Canvas again, we're probably gonna have to do something, get more canvas made up for it. Uh, interesting story, apparently this is original. <laughs> we are gonna keep it, but we're also gonna take it off. Um, we'll just give it to the owner as is, um, because it's 80 year old at least, um, and it's not gonna last much longer. So he wants to keep it, but just not on this vehicle. Uh, moving around. Yeah, basically more of the same. Now we are going to have to find the correct, we're pretty sure this is an oil uh, or a jerry can holder of some sorts. And we're going to have to get new wood, which, gee, I wonder where we're going to get wood from. Anyway, problems to solve later. We'll get some new wood <laughs> um, and make this all nice again. And again, more... Um, more tanks to clean out but it should be a relatively straightforward little jobby we just got to clean everything up and when it's all painted it will look fantastic and it will be coming to there's peter it will be coming to a parade near you <laughs> not really it's going to stay local so yeah, again, sorry I haven't really been posting too much. It's um, just been really, really busy, mainly with this, which is now all done. Um, looks fantastic. Look at it, oh, gorgeous. So yeah. All right, um, I'll do a video on the Morgan as well when it's all done. Uh, sorry, it is done. I'll do a video on that and release it at some point. Uh, until then, Leave a comment down below and I will see you on the next one. Bye.